during the COVID uh, in transport, things uh, in mobility, we've seen uh, very dramatic changes and improvements regarding active uh, modes of transportation. I can bring many examples, Berlin or Budapest, where local government uh, put cycling lanes before it needed maybe one year now for one week, 10 days, already 15, 20 kilometers of new cycle lanes appear. Everyone is, uh, sees that uh, we don't need uh, overcrowded public transport. We are standing on the place which is very wide and uh, before it was only for the cars. Now you can see this new development. It's wide and for the pedestrians and new cycling lanes will appear after one month and you can see this PRT stations which is a new thing for Georgia, for Tbilisi. This is very important. From these four lanes, two lanes will be devoted for public transport, there will be cycling lanes, there will be wide pedestrian walk. So it means that this is a really example of shared mobility, what we need after COVID and uh, to keep social distance. These kind of changes you cannot implement uh, in all Tbilisi, but there is other solutions. You can you create low emission zones, low speed zones. It means that if there is a historical places, you have to really uh, close this area for car, for big traffic. No one believed that in Tbilisi people will cycle, but each COVID showed on the contrary. Lots of people took their bikes from, from their garage or houses and they started cycling and they will cycling more if they will be lower speeds and uh, uh, if as an example such transformation will happen in Rustaveli I'm pretty much sure that it will be more pleasant and uh, more cyclists and uh, more tourists will enjoy these places local residents including so this, we cannot avoid such changes because we have to give more space.